thumbs up if you've ever played the game Rock, Paper, Scissors. You have? That's because it's the oldest hand game in the world. But where did it come from? Who invented it? And who keeps covering my rocks with paper? Hand games have been around for as long as humans have had hands. They're easy to learn, don't require any pieces or boards, and they're fun. One of the earliest hand games was played in ancient Greece and Rome. It was called Mora and was known as the loudest hand game. Two players reveal their hands, putting up one to five fingers, while also shouting how many total fingers will be raised between the two. If you guess the total, you get a point. In East Asia, there's a long history of hand games as well, but not much is known about their ancient origins or rules. That is, until around the 1600s, when they caught on in Japan and were called Sansukumi Ken. Sansukumi Ken means the hands of the three who are afraid of one another. Spooky. One of the games, Mushi Ken, is Frog, Slug, Snake. Frog, the thumb, beats Slug, the pinky finger, which beats Snake, the index finger. Why does Slug beat Snake? A classic case of miscommunication. You see, when the game moved from China to Japan, the word centipede was mistranslated as slug. Why would centipede beat snake? Apparently, certain centipedes in China could actually kill snakes by climbing inside their heads and munching on their brains. Yum! Another hand game, Kitsune Ken, involved a magical fox, a village leader and a hunter. The game was set to music, and on the beat, players must use both hands to create these shapes. A third hand game was Jan Ken. This game is almost exactly like rock, paper, scissors, with just a few differences. Players hold out a fist and say, Saisho wa gu, or starting with rock, then say, Jan Ken Pong, and reveal their choice, rock, paper, or scissor. Over time, it became by far the most popular of the Ken games slowly spreading worldwide. Why Gen Ken? Some people think it's because the elements, rock, paper and scissors, are universal. Not everyone knows a magical fox called a kitsune. But everyone's seen a rock or a sheet of paper. It may seem crazy, but when you play rock, paper, scissors, you're playing almost the exact same game kids have amused themselves with for over 400 years. Today, your opponent might not be another human. Computers have been taught rock, paper, scissors since the 1990s. There's a robot that's been killing the hand game since 2012. It can beat you at rock, paper, scissors 100% of the time. And since 2017, Japanese scientists have been able to teach chimpanzees the game. Chimps can play rock, paper, scissors at the same level as a four-year-old human. Oh shoot! That's rock, paper, scissors! The age-old game, so easy, a monkey can play it! 